So in this video, we're going to look at how to solve systems of linear equations. So we've got two equations here, y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals minus x plus 1. And we want to solve them using the TI Inspire calculator. So we're going to hit our scratch pad button twice to get into the graphical display and we're just going to type in the equations that we have. So we've got 2x plus 4, hit enter, and then I hit my tab button to bring it up again in order to put in my second equation and I put in minus x plus 1. There you go, you have both lines graphed on the graphical display. Now in order to find the solution to these equations we want to find the point of intersection. So we hit the menu button, we hit analyze graph number 6 and we hit intersection number 4. Now I'm just going to choose my lower and upper bounds quite close to the point of intersection and there if I just move my point across to see it more clearly we can see the solution is at minus 1, 2. So that's telling me that x equals minus 1 and y equals 2 is the solution to this system of equations. Okay but I also have another method to solve systems of linear equations on the calculator. So if I go back to my calculator screen on Scratchpad, I hit menu, I hit algebra number 3, and here if I hit option number two, solve system of linear equations. Up pops this little dialog box and it's asking me the number of equations that I'm looking to solve for. So we just leave that at two. It also asks what the variables of the equations are. So here we are just dealing with equations in X and Y, so that's fine, we don't need to change that. So we can just hit enter and we have what we need. Now within these two boxes, I need to put in the two equations exactly as they are written. So it's gonna be Y, is equal to 2x plus 4. Once I'm done on that, I hit the down arrow to get to the next box, and I'm going to say again y is equal to minus x plus 1. I hit enter, and I get my solution. The point of intersection is at minus 1, 2, where the solution to these simultaneous equations is x equals minus 1 and y equals 2. Okay, so let's finish off by looking at a 3x3 three three system of linear equations. Whenever we're looking at a system like this, we don't want to use a 3D graphical display. We just want to use our algebraic method to get the solution. So I hit menu, option number three, algebra, and option number two, solve system of linear equations. Now here, I just need to put in the number of equations. So in this case, it's three. I hit tab and I have to put in the variables that I'm solving for. But we don't need to change anything because our equations are in variables x, y, and z. So if I hit enter, up pops my input area that I need to fill in. So it doesn't matter what order I put these equations in, I'm just going to fill them in exactly as they are written. So x plus 2y plus z is equal to 8. Down arrow to get to the next box. 2x minus y minus z is equal to minus 3. And uh, we have 5x minus 3y plus 2z is equal to 5. I hit enter and I get my solution. The main thing to understand here is we're given a 3D coordinate. So it's saying that X is equal to one, Y is equal to two, and Z is equal to three. So the order that you've input your variables, that's the order of the output of the solutions.